Well, I thought that was a tremendous college basketball game. Um, we have so much respect for Northeastern. Uh, I have so much respect for Bill Cohen. I think he's one of the best coaches in all of college basketball. Uh, really proud of our effort. I thought we, you know, when we pushed the lead out in the second half, uh, they came right back at us. And uh, to our guys' credit, you know, we stayed the course and were able to make one more play down the stretch. Uh, Luke Lowy did an unbelievable job today on Jordan Rowland. Uh, kid was scoring 23 a game coming in, and, and Luke held him to seven, I think it was. Um, but just a really great team effort, uh, su uh, a super trip up here for us, and, um, and happy to get out of here with a win. Yeah, so Northeastern came out and pressed us a little bit, so we got the ball across half court. And, um, you know, initially I was just going to have our guys dribble across half court. We'd call timeout, but they you know, it got a little bit um, hectic there. And then uh, we took it with about six seconds left, I think. And um, we'd run a play earlier in the game uh, in the second half where we, same set, and we handed off to Luke. Uh, and he went down the lane, he got fouled on it. And so we did the same set. And this time, Nathan just faked the handoff and had space to, um, to try to go attack and make a play. And, um, you know, the ball got knocked around. He just did a, I mean, it was just a, a great player going and making a big play in, in a tough spot. And uh, he was able to get to the rim and finish. And then, you know, thankfully, the, the 70 footer at the end from Northeastern uh, didn't go in. <laughs> Nate's playing at a really high level right now. Uh, I was really proud of him today because you know he sat the last seven minutes of the first half and, and sometimes it's tough to then come out and, and play with, with a lot of aggressiveness or, or have a rhythm to you and he did a really good job of that. Uh, went and just made some really big plays when you know when we needed them. Uh, you know down the stretch uh, he hit the three that that went in. It looked like it bounced off one of the rafters, and and then decided to drop for us. So uh, he's 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 just playing with with such confidence. Uh, he seems it seems like he does something, you know, new every day to to expand his game. And um, and more than that, though, is is the leadership he's bringing to this team, and 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 the calmness that that he, along with our other you know veteran guys, are are helping uh, provide this team. So it was, you know, anytime Nate's on the bench, um, you know, we we, we got to go to other guys and, and we got to step up and, and, you know, other guys have to make plays. Andy was terrific uh, down, this, down the stretch of the first half. Uh, made some big plays for us. I thought we got some really good ball movement um, and guys were, were cutting against their defense and, and attacking, which is, you know, the way you need to play against them. Um, it was really big that we could finish the half like we did with Nate on the bench. And then, you know, when he came out there in the second half, we, we were able to really extend the lead and um, you know unfortunately I thought we made a, a lot of careless mistakes to to let Northeastern back in it and when you do that against a really good team you know that, that that's what happens so I thought tonight our defensive effort again was really really impressive um, we had great focus level. We really keyed in on, on Walker and Roland coming into the game. Uh, Luke had Roland and, and Bryce started the game on Walker, but we, we talked about you know just making those guys earn their points. And when you play against really elite scores, you know they're, they're typically going they're going to get some, and you just want to make them earn every one they get. Uh, I thought our communication was really good tonight, and that's a really key uh, component to our defense, especially when you're playing against Northeastern, because how much stuff they run, how well they execute, uh, they go from one action to the next, and, and our guys just were, were really locked into that today. Tyler was huge for us today. He made so many good uh, effort plays, energy plays, uh, but also he made so many high basketball IQ plays, um, cutting behind their defense, um, you know, just, just knowing where to be, taking charges, and just having that feel for the game. Uh, he, he impacts the game way more than the box score ever shows. Uh, he's got some nice city scores a little more for us, but uh, he has such a good feel as a player. Uh, he plays with such toughness. He's really competitive, and, and his effort today was, was really a key for us. It feels good to be 3-0 and in the CAA. Um, you know, the thing I told our guys afterwards was um, the goal this weekend was to, was to focus on our core values, prepare the right way, and go out and play really well. Um, and I think we did that in two games, and the results went our way. Uh, but I said to the team afterwards, so if, if, you know, if Walker throws up that, that 60, 70 foot or whatever it was, and it goes in, and we lose by one. You know, we're still the same team that made all those, you know, good strides in terms of our preparation, playing really well, and um, and I think that this team has has done a good job of not letting the results uh, impact the way that they work and play, and, and I think that's going to help us here as we go through the season.